Hi everyone, Lolly here. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to talk about how, you know, when you become a junk journaler and you never look at paper or scraps of anything the same way ever again. And so my latest little <laughs> project is just that. I saw something, I thought it has to be a book. And even if it's tiny, 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 it has to be a book. So I was sitting at my desk and I have this, it's kind of a clipboard. It is a clipboard, book, tablet here on the inside. And as I'm tearing off pages, this is what happens. And so the other day I was looking at this thinking that has to be a tiny little book. And so that's what it's about to become. Um, I have already started. I did glue a piece of paper on the outside. Maybe I'm going to make a cover of some kind like this. But it really is just the top of my tablet here. And so I was tearing off the pages. Then you have this left. So again, I have started a little bit just gluing down some pages from a Reader's Digest that I have and um, just junk mail things that were sitting at my desk. And so what I thought is that would just be like my first layer. And I thought, wouldn't it be cute if it just had a small little blank spot on it and that you could come in here each day and just write one little thought or an inspiration that you heard, a little quote, or something like that. So some of the pages. But I'm just, you know how when we're doing collage, we have to lay down, you know, a layer and start from there. And so that's kind of what I'm doing here. I'm just putting down little pieces of paper. The glue is still a little bit wet, but I wanted to get some of it started so it could have a chance to dry. And then what I think I'm going to do is come in here, put tiny pieces of ephemera, and then I have this music paper and I thought I'm going to tear um, just enough for each page. <laughs> and then look, it's just about that big. Then you would have room to write our journal in, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some more little papers in here and then let all that dry. I used wet glue. Um, probably for this, I'm going to just get my sticky tape out. Um, the wet glue is making it also a little more bulky and I don't think there's much room to do that. So anyway, um, before I get too far into this, I wanted to do just an introduction and show you how it is now in my, you know, this bucket, y'all have seen it before. There's just tiny things in here and in the bottom. You don't even want to see, it's kind of a mess, but I'll, sh I'll show you. Um, it's kind of my catch all when I'm standing here at my desk also, that's why you'll find everything in here. But there's littles in here that I thought, why not just start to put them, like I ordered a bunch of these a long time ago, not Timu, what was the other one? AliExpress or something like that. But anyway, I mean, even if they stick out, I just think it's going to be so cute. So, I mean, I've made tiny journals before, but <laughs> maybe not like this tiny. So that's what I'm going to do. So I am going to put in the rest of the papers, the little background papers, and then um, I'm going to come back and maybe on camera, then I will lay the ephemera. I thought about cutting it. <laughs> no, I think that would take the fun out of it. So we'll just start putting things in here. And even if they stick out, I think that'll be okay. Look, I have these that are already done. This would make great paper to put in here. And then you could just write a thought on. I'm like, okay, so I don't know. Like, <laughs> I think our brains change when we start to do junk journaling. And we're looking at things much different than what we used to. And then nothing, I don't think there's anything that we couldn't make an ATC, a journaling card, a junk journal, any of that, a tag, 
all of that can be made from just anything. So join me. I'll come back in just a little bit when I get that done and dried, probably after I log off for work. And we'll finish up this cute little book and put a tiny little cover on it. And I think we'll poke a hole. I don't think I have eyelets deep enough to go all the way through, but I have a ring probably we can put through there and some ribbon and we'll just fancy it up. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. All right, I'm back. So it's been a day or so um, since I showed you my little project that I was going to start where I took the top of this tablet here and all the little leftovers and I decided it needed to be a junk journal, um, a tiny, tiny, skinny one. And so that's what I've been working on and I've been adding to it. So this is was the top here. I took the top of this. This is where I've been tearing off the pages. And so I've been little by little adding, like I have these strips of paper that are here in this bucket of stuff. <laughs> and I've been pulling out little pieces and um, going through books and cutting out words. And this is what I've come up with. So here's my cover. And I'm literally just grabbing things and sticking them on there. I had airmail. I just cut this out just a little while ago and put that on there to make it a little cover and I have poked a hole in it here and so I've just some of it I glued <laughs> went in here and when you put these little strips in then I have some other pages that I tore and put in here I mean that's a pretty good little space to write in so here I just wanted to see how like, can I write in here and so I said today I made this little book and it was so fun and so I've just been going through, cutting out words. This one, if you know, you know. And so little quote here that I had, I put in there just random little stickers that I've had. And here again, just some book pages. <laughs> and I have um, like, they're not Tim Holtz, but they're just, these are. These are not, um, and so I've just been pulling out little quotes, little words, putting them in there, and <laughs> it's just been a lot of fun. So it's tiny, tiny. I don't even think, let me grab one. You know, Aaliyah and I do the mini moo card, and look, it's even thinner than a mini moo card, and <laughs> those are pretty small as it is, so... Um, here life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful and so you know I could just keep adding to it here I found these words in a book it says the optimist so I thought you, know, you could put a little optimistic thought here and then I think we all have a little pessimist in us so you could just write something or journal something there and so just throughout and so I have this um, book at it Neiman Marcus and it's like these wild gifts that you could get and in the back it had these different questions and it said if you could give someone just one book what would it be i just thought it'd be a fun thing to think about right so all right just little places to journal and to put and then i'll probably keep adding to it here and there but i just wanted to show you guys and then on the back i just have some little random stickers and creative creativity takes courage <laughs> and it takes a brain of someone who um, does junk journaling or probably mixed media in general because we just don't look at anything the same anymore. Once you start using up pieces and scraps, everything's fair game. <laughs> junk mail, um, just anything that looks like it could be made into a tag or a journaling card or anything like that. So I do have this ring I don't have eyelets that are wide enough to go through all of that, but I do have this ring here. I thought I would just put it on here and then I'll just hang it here on my shelf. And this little random bow is sitting on my desk. I don't know why. I don't know. I used it for something, I'm sure, but maybe I can just hook it on this. Okay. This was just fun. I thought it was funny that, you know, as you start to junk journal and do mixed media, 
you just look at things completely different and I thought oh my gosh that's literally just the top of my tablet <laughs> what am I thinking but it was super fun all right okay so there it is my little cast off little journal here <laughs> I have a little hook and my little top tag here has a string so I could even hang it from that. I think I'm just going to hang it on a hook. I have a metal shelf here off to the side. I think I will just hang it on there. So I don't know. I think it's pretty fun, pretty cool. So just look around and see what you have around your house that you could make an odd little journal out of and um, have a little fun with it. But, All right. Uh, well, anyway, that was short and sweet, you guys. Um, thanks for joining me in my little escapade here. Let's see if I can turn it this way. <laughs> it is just, this is, I think, like eight and a half, but this is just not even, well, a mini moo is 1.1, and it is smaller than that, so maybe about an inch across there. Super fun little project. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.